these data are expected to be peak and one of the ways that we can try and understand better what, what a spectrum such as this is is to look at uh, a, a database and this is the Beamson and Briggs database and these are all VAMAS files and what I did was I selected on the file menu the merge option so I can select some of these and load and when I select the, the VAMAS files these VAMAS files are all collected together in a file which I can identify using the strings that were within these VAMAS files so I can create a merged file that contains all of the information from a, a database that's been set up appropriately now I've already got a merged version of that so let me go up a directory and we'll go for the merge database and we'll load this file which contains all of those VAMAS files and they're all organized so that I can search for the information that I'm interested in so the data are arranged and you can see all the survey spectra which you can search through and let's see how to identify which sample these survey spectra are coming from on the display property page of the tile display parameters we've got use ID in the title when I select that option it displays the the information that is held within the VAMAS block as part of the header about the sample ID so as I scan down you can see each time the new spectrum is displayed now I could also use the edit mode and the edit mode gives me uh, another string or actually the same string is now being displayed here so I could scan down the data visually by looking at the the names for the polymers or alternatively if I select the sims toolbar here we have a search item so when I search I can search for a string and I'm I believe that I'm want to find P E E K so I'm going to search for ketone and having searched for it I find there are 34 VAMAS blocks that match this so I can scroll up and down and see which ones have been selected on the basis of that search string and I can immediately see here that I want not the polyvinyl but I want the there it is so when I display this I can now see I've got PEEK and that is the peak fit from the Beamson and Briggs polymer database and I can now move that if I wish to the file and I think I'll just take through the data only and forget the peak fit so I can just compare spectra now there's an offset here so what I'm going to do is use the calibration property page and I think I'll normalize these so I can see the data clearly and then I'm gonna hold the control key down and move the peak and then press apply so now I've got a pair of spectra that are roughly aligned and I want to see what the difference is between these now I'm gonna copy these two through to a new file and I'll copy them the process data only so that it maintains the calibration so I can inspect these and one of the things I will do is just go for a difference of these two spectra so I can see what might emerge as I run through a sequence of different spectra starting with the initial one the unknown one is made up in terms of the original spectrum or the spectrum from Beamson and Briggs and some modification that's required in order to obtain uh, a reproduction of the data so that gives me an idea that the data that I've got that I've measured has a component of peak in it it also has something else in it that I need to investigate 